Parental discretion is advised. Happy birthday, Sorg! We're watching Tyus O'Neill on the big show right now, so we knew the crowd would be quiet for you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sorg! What's up, guys? This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we talk WrestleMania dreams, WrestleMania schemes, and meow, 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 meow. Stick around. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Get your indie fix at sorgatronmedia.com slash store. Get 40% off any digital download with the coupon code Bikini Contest, including our latest release, RWA Fury 5, featuring Jesse Bell Smothers, Sarah Feeney, and more. Donate as little as a dollar an episode to get your name in the show and access WMS Gold content. Check out our page at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show or click the link on our site. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. What's up, guys? Welcome to the one and only Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, episode number 412. That's right, folks, 412. And that just happens to be the very zip code that we are joining you from, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, coming to you live. I am Mr. DJ Lunchbox. Mm -hmm. That's right. But, but, uh, why would I just do this by myself? That would be boring, and it would go on for two hours. I can't even talk that long. Uh, so there are many other people here with me, and uh, let's go around the horn. Starting off with the beautiful chocolate little bonbon he is, Hot Wheels. Hey, what's up, LB? What's up, Wrestling Mayhem crew? I'm just sexy, yeah. and I know it. Hot Wheels, doing a little dance. Uh, joining us also this week is uh, the illustrious flood-fighting motherfucker himself, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby F.J. Town. We had five floods alone today. Five floods <laughs> alone? Did you beat them I back? In. Wait, what? All right. <laughs> Damn them floods. <laughs> but that is uh, – uh, I, I told you all that just to tell you this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a day of celebration. It is a magical day. Folks, our leader, who is both fearless and handsome and rugged and other adjectives <laughs> to make your panties wet. Ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday to the Sorgatron. Oh, my. Yes, we are live here uh, in Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Sorgatron at Sorgatron. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Kind, kind words, Mr. Papa Lunchbox. Uh, and of course, you, you are uh, you are 15 years old this year, right? Yes, 15 years old this year, uh, and just prematurely old. super gray, apparently. So, so there you go. Um, and of course, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show number four twelve four one two, representing the four one two without uh, with at least two of us here on the show this week uh and intro oh, intro wait. by basic sickness check out free music from basic sickness.com and check out more from us at wrestling mayhem show.com including the indie minute the wrap-ups the after shows all that kind of stuff and you can also email us at that email address good times, good times. Good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or drops a line on the phone line at 412-206-WMS0 just like our friend in the mainstream media Matt Carlins who did so we'll hear from him later in the show uh, you can also drop fucking better hear from him later in the show oh yeah god damn it if we don't hear from Matt Carlins ooh I'm gonna drive to wherever he lives and, and, and I'm gonna punch his house <laughs> Wow. Not him. Uh, also, you can. No, I, like, I like Matt. He's he's pretty. I don't want to punch him, but I'll punch that house. Don't fucking push me. <laughs> Take that house. Take that house. There you go. Um, also, you can uh, find us audio and video forums on iTunes, on Stitcher, YouTube, Blip TV, your Roku box via Blip TV, Spreaker as well. Leave comments, favorites, whatever that mechanism is to let us know that you like the show and let other people know that you like the show. And you can also follow the conversation at Mayhem Show on Twitter, uh, where we usually live tweet during a lot of the live wrestling shows through the week. And uh, we also are on Facebook and Google+, including the fantastic 
fantastic Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group that is the best place for you to communicate with us. Go join us. Plenty of people. There's like 10 to 20 people joining every week. A lot of new names. A lot of great discussions. I saw a thread with over two. It had to been by now 200 mentions. I got... Maybe we'll mention that a little later. Guy, oh, no, no. A guy came on and said, TNA's product is better than WWE. Fact. And mm-hmm. it just exploded. Within an hour, within an hour it had like 140 replies. When I got to it, it was 175, and then I had to put my two cents in. It was it was a ridiculous. Madness. Great discussions going on over there. And not I like... Not a and not like, reply made any sense. No, no, not really. Not really. Uh, but like not a lot of... Like a lot of discussions, there's not a lot of just flame... Um, like, y- you know, there's good discussions typically on that board. And that's why I'm liking about that, that we're cultivating there, is good discussions, not entirely like, screw you, this sucks, you know, and this is why, or or, no, this is why. What's that? Not entirely. No, not entirely. Only partially, but less than other boards, for sure. For that one, I did the Homer Simpson walked in, walked right back out. (laughs) (laughs) And and, and, and that was maybe the appropriate thing to do in some some instances. Um, Oh, and we're uh, also here live every Tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com. We got links over at wrestlingmayhemshow.com, sorgatronmedia.com, so you can jump right in there without having to remember uh, that address. And also, please, please support us on Patreon, patreon patreon.com. It's a great place to support us here on the show uh, uh value for value if you if you think we're worth it just like the great wrestling revolution.net supports us with two dollars an episode uh so go help them and you get for uh, with that uh you're going to get wrestling mayhem show gold exclusively to you guys as well as anybody that bought an app on the itunes or the amazon app store before um and we're, we're maybe work on some things that are going to be maybe a little more um uh, state of the mayhem addressy kind of stuff. We're gonna we're, we've been talking about it. So so there will be more and more exclusive discussion and content based on what you know what we're doing here. And 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 you will probably know a little bit more about our future plans before anybody else. That kind of stuff. So get there. patreoncom slash wrestling mayhem show. That's p a t r e o n. Over twenty dollars an episode gets a picture of everybody's testicles who appears on the mayhem show. Uh yeah, so there's and a, and a free tote bag and a free tote bag. Oh, that's that's twenty dollars an episode. Yeah, plus the free tote bag. That's correct. Yes, <laughs> some of these. Plus, you're gonna have to turn up the brightness for my photograph. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. There you go. Ah, <laughs> contrast. <laughs> uh, it's because he's sorg. It's because he's black. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you see, I have a black and white monitor, so I don't see a color. Ah, <laughs> very nice. Right? Sword season gradient. Yes, it's only a gradient. Um, on that Here note, let's get. Wait, there's a note. I can't. I don't think the font is big enough on this LP. What is going on here? Hold on one second. We're gonna fix that. And there we go. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, I, I think I just ruined the whole doc. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, there is... Quick, a... control Z, control Z. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a much better idea. What am I doing? Okay, uh, if you have listened to the Wrestling Mayhem Show for more than a few episodes, you know that there is a legend here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Something spoken about only in whispers or loud, loud voices, depending on how much we've had to drink. And that legend goes by the name Vimmel. That's right, folks. Vimmel, uh, don't get excited. He didn't send in an email because Vimmel was busy this week. The legendary Vimmel has taken a bride. So we want to give our heart. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. To I, what? I feel like that needs clarified a little bit. Yeah, he didn't take somebody else's bride. <laughs> taken a bride? <laughs> married. Vimmel got married. What, what part needs clarification? Okay, well, I, I think the taken a bride needed clarification. So he saw some I guys. I didn't mean like he stole her from a convenience store. <laughs> he wooed her with his <laughs> charming British ways. And boy, are they charming. Yes, they are. Uh, but yes, we want to give our, our heartfelt congratulations uh, out to Vimmel. Um, if you know him on Facebook, send him a congratulations. And uh, I'm sure the married life will suit you just as much as the not married life because you're Vimmel and you can bend reality to your whim. There you go. Is this, that, is this him and his wife hanging out I'm seeing here? Let's looks like. take a look. Looks or, like. Yes, that is Vimmel and his lovely wife. There you go. Awesome. And at least that's the picture I said congratulations to. So uh, hopefully that's his wife. 
<laughs> Excellent. Uh, congratulations to Vimmel. Uh, uh, great, very great life event. I, I, uh, I, yeah, good, good for him. Good for him. A long time, long time friend of the show from the very beginning. So good stuff. We do have email. And that's usually how we start the show, but we diverted just a tiny bit. And I'll go ahead and read this if you don't mind there, uh, Mr. LB. Oh, you go right ahead. <laughs> uh, from our boy Dustin, always great to have his emails. A lot of times it takes up about an hour of our show. But for good reasons, and you'll see why here. Dear Mayhem Nation of Domination, um, uh, they say time heals all rules, right? Uh, the belief is that with time and a uh, concentrated effort, those things in our minds are, wow, he's getting deep in this one, or our emotions can heal to a point where we might not truly forget what created the scar, but we might be able to forgive those who created it. Did he like copy and paste this from a book of prose? God damn, Dude, Dustin. Huh. Dustin's going through some But shit. the biggest proponent to accomplishing this is... For those who caused the scar to change their ways, in order for you to forgive them. After watching in the nonsensical way of that MVP took off his handcuffs after one punching after one punching abyss, a monster who was built around the fact that he can absorb copious amounts of punishment, I feel as though TNA reminded me of the reasons why I was so upset with them before they released Russo. That's not a good thing for TNA loyalists such as myself to be feeling. Wow. He had like a self-realization moment there, apparently. Questions. Yeah. Questions. Uh, number one, I am excited for ROH and uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling Crossover Show. My question is, with, is, is which two promotions of all time would you love to see an actual crossover promo event, promotional event? Um, I don't oh, know. Oh, I got it. You got one? Right away. First thing that sprung to mind. You ready for this? Because mm -hmm. it would be insane. ECW versus CZW. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That would be violent and horrifying, and someone <laughs> would probably die. Nice. And I mean, like, both in their violent heydays. Mm -hmm. Not like, I don't want to see, like, Bobby Lashley wrestling whoever is from CZW. Chris Hero, was he in CZW? I don't care. He might have been for a minute. <laughs> what about anybody else? I feel like indies are the biggest thing uh, to be to, to throw in on this. Yeah, yeah. I would say um, Chikara versus Kaiju Big Battle would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yes, I'm sad cool. the um, – I, I thought we would get more out of Ring yes. of Honor and Chikara. But, of course, Chikara kind of went that, that weird way. So, you know, it, 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 they were like – they're both kind of the darlings of, of the independents. And I would say the top companies in the independents. Um, but I don't know. Definitely missed that. Mm -hmm. What about you there, uh, uh, Wheels? I honestly, I have nothing. I mean, it's it's weird. It's like I'm familiar with a lot of them, but it's like a lot of them share talent. So it's like it's kind of hard to figure what would be good, the intermix that you haven't already seen. Definitely not like it used to be, is it? Yeah, exactly. Um, and, I would like to see IWC versus TNA. Oh, no. IWC versus Inspire Pro Wrestling. There you go. Would, there you go. There, yeah. Wow, and then yeah. we can have a huge feud here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It would be amazing. IWC versus RWA. <laughs> well, that kind of, <laughs> kind of happens. Um, anyways. Yeah. Whose side are you on? Or you just go down the VOW shows. It's like, it, that's kind of what what the what the I was going to say. There. Yeah, basically you have that. Like almost there. every yeah. match is like an IWC guy versus an RWA guy that you never see <laughs> down there. If this, we're on indies on this point in the Pittsburgh area. I'm sorry, that's for a whole another show. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but definitely, I, I feel like you know, especially after the whole alliance thing. Like, what if you took uh, WWF versus WCW in like '92, right? Oh when my it, god. When it wouldn't matter. Oh, dude, 1980 uh, WWF versus current day WWE. <laughs> wow. That would be insane. There you go. There you go. Macho Man Randy Savage would slit John Cena's throat. 
It would be ridiculous. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Uh, another question here, uh, number two. Uh, how how ha I'm sorry. Many have debated that Coco Beware in the Hall of Fame lowered the prestige, a word thrown around uh, too much by Sparky fans of the whole concept. But I think we can do worse. Who, not named uh, Chris Benoit, spelled out in a different way, of course. Um, do you feel would reduce the integrity or prestige of the Hall of Fame if they were <laughs> inducted? <laughs> Bobby, you sound like you have one already. Me? Still on stage yet? Oh, no! <laughs> no! I, knew no! Oh! Oh! <sighs> I can't I find anything to chew on. Oh God! Damn it! Oh. I I kind of agree. Oh, well, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, it was all fun and games until Bobby <laughs> fucked me in the eye. God damn it! <laughs> oh. so wow! Wow! Um, David Arquette. Right. David Arquette in the celebrity oh, yeah. ring. I mean, that yes. that would be unfortunate. Yeah. Drew but Carey. they brought up yeah, Drew. Well, Drew Carey. Yeah, he, he, he was in a Royal Rumble. I think he's allowed to be Wasn't in the celebrity he? wing ring. Drew Carey. I thought he. Wait, I, th I that was supposed to be a joke. I thought he was already in it. I thought. He oh, he is. Kid. Actually, he yeah. is. He is in the celebrity okay. wing. Yeah. yeah. The joke stands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh. But no, something like that, and, and and I don't know. I like I kind of wish like DDP would get in there since the guys he helped out are both getting in this year now. With yeah, Scott Hall exactly. now coming in, uh, and, and Jake Stank Roberts. Um, wow, who else? Who else would lower it? Who's lo I guess you gotta think who's lower than Coco Beware, right? Yeah, Virgil, Virgil. Like oh, Ashley that Luger. would bring it down. That would bring it down for sure. I like Coco I Beware. I always liked him. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I came right to the ring with a bird. How I think like I that? feel like I feel like when you go Coco Beware, you're 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 establishing, you know, a lot. And and if you look at the roster of people that are in there, it's not people that were on top all the time. There's a lot of very very solid mid carders. Brutus Beefcake should he be in the Hall of Fame? There's a good question there. He's a friend of Hulk Hogan. Why not? Uh, okay, but I, I, is he Hall of Fame worthy? I don't know. Now no. Greg the Hammer Valentine, yes. For yes, sure, I yes. Uh, I feel the honky. I think Honky Talk Man might actually be in there, uh, but he's definitely worthwhile. Uh, I mean, I, hmm. I think we're just. I mean, I think they should in, in, induct Tito Andy Santana. Kaufman. Is, is Andy Kaufman in? He should be. He definitely there. should be. He should be. Yeah. Um, and I could mm -hmm. see that. And they have already already inducted Jerry Lawler. I think it would have been nice if they inducted him alongside Jerry Lawler. I don't mm -hmm. think they did. Um, but for sure, he brought well, a lot of attention well, to pro wrestling. Induct him. Yeah, that would that would make sense. That. that would that would definitely make sense. Um, but, Shockmaster. Shockmaster. There you go. <laughs> Not his tugboat. Uh, I still I want so bad. I don't think this would bring it down, even though he was you know not a super famous wrestler but the brooklyn brawler put him yeah, in i want to say that well i think he's been around long enough he's been a part of it i mean it is steve lombardi barry I think, horowitz is a stable one. Barry, yeah, horowitz, barry horowitz there you go i mean but, he finally pat himself in the back for a reason wow oh. wow goldberg is goldberg in goldberg should be in i think goldberg should be in again yeah. ddp i think should be in i think you I, know i think if you count wcw with that yeah definitely Mm -hmm. I mean, other they count on other uh, wrestling. I mean, obviously they're going to go through all the WWF guys first, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and and swing people in there like Carlos Colon was kind of a random one. Uh, mm -hmm. Somebody I forget who was watching. Probably Eamon was watching uh, a Royal Rumble, <laughs> or maybe somebody actually it might have been Dabrowski was watching a Royal Rumble like in the ni early '90s with Carlos Colon, and they called yeah, him. Yeah, they a, brought all those old. They guys called him like a the, spry the youngster, ones, and he was like well into his 30s or 40s. <laughs> It had been around a good mm. long time at that point. Uh, it so, wasn't like the like International Rumble where they maybe. brought like every like different superstars from around the world. Could be, in. could be. Um, I remember the year they brought in a bunch of random like Mexicans and stuff. Yeah, taking our jobs, taking our jobbers' <laughs> jobs. <laughs> 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 um, next question, guys. Uh, the last one here. Uh, what is the one thing that the WWE could do at WrestleMania that would make you say that is that this was personal, personally the greatest mania of all time. Um, I feel like it's very paint by the numbers. I, well, okay, I feel like they're going outside the box with this whole Daniel Bryan two matches kind of situation, taking it back to the years of like WrestleMania ten, uh, perhaps. But 
it does feel like okay, we got another Undertaker match. Okay, John Cena's taking somebody on. It feel it feels like that it's for the last five, six, seven years, it's who you have basic questions that always get answered every year. Who's in the title match? Uh who's Undertaker fighting? And then there's like that triple H level match. And then that's it. And then how are they rushing all the rest of the guys onto the show? Be it Money in the mm-hmm. Bank, be it a Battle Royal, be it be it whatever. Like, that's your three questions that get answered every single year. And are like, okay, here we are. You know? And yeah. when we start thinking, hey, what's the path for Rumble? You you say who is under, you know, you say those three things um, and see how it works out. And that's what you start seeing kind of formulate by Royal Rumble, maybe by the time Elimination Chamber. Or somebody leaves yeah. and it all gets jacked up. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't, I gotta say, Sorg, that doesn't answer the question at all. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what would happen at WrestleMania that would make you walk away and say it was personally the greatest WrestleMania ever? Okay, <laughs> you got one, Bobby. I I think I got one. Okay, it, it harkens back to last week. Okay. If Great you, I swear to God, if you say Sean Stasiak, no. I swear <laughs> to God, I am going to come Kali. down to Johnstown and I am going to touch you in a way that you are uncomfortable with. Great Collie <laughs> coming out with a sheet on as the ghost of Andre the Giant to uh, win the Battle Royale. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Bobby, no. That would be the greatest WrestleMania moment of all time. Ugh, no, no, no. No, wow. It's so hard because, like, so many things that I've always wanted to happen have happened already. Yeah. Like, Bret yeah. Hart coming back. That was a big one for me for a while, and then it happened, you know? Um, Kurt the Angle ECW coming, coming back, back yeah. and those guys doing amazing things. That's already happened. It, it I've would got have no be... dreams left, Sorg. Something I've like, got no like wrestling Stone dreams Stone Cold left. coming I'm back. having a crisis. Like Stone Cold coming back. Edge mm-hmm. coming back. I mean, well, does it have to be all comebacks? Like, what? what – needs to happen at that time now if you rock into wrestlemania this year you have daniel bryan do the thing you have the crowd going nuts and you have the biggest moving yes chant that that's ever been i think that's going to be a moment to make it memorable i think it it, Mm -hmm. it, and it nothing really ever breaks down to what is the individual thing that everybody does uh we all still remember the mickey james trish stratus match because of some things that happened in the match that you're not going to see again you know um we remember even uh the first undertaker triple h match for the holy crap they just did chair head shots you know Uh, Mm -hmm. like something sticks out like that And, 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 and it's a moment or it's um um somebody brought up what last year Flo rider punking out Heath slater you know, mm-hmm. I, I think that is like one of the best newer celebrity moments. Um, holy crap. I switched on uh, WWE Network the other day, right at the point, right before uh, Snooki gets tagged in and does a ridiculous somersault elbow. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, that how actually. About, how about uh, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat coming back and still mm-hmm. being able to wrestle? Yeah. Another another point that I flipped on the network. I was like, oh, this is the match where Ricky Steamboat it. kicked ass and everybody else looks sad. You know, um, I, I forgot so, Mickey Rourke so, was a part of that. Yeah, he was actually so, supposed to be in the match. Are we, but they canned out are, the are we agreeing that um, we don't have any WrestleMania dreams left and we're just open to surprises? No, I, I have one. Okay. Uh, 2000s Kurt Angle finding a time machine and coming back. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, you know, to the, to the present. That, that, would, that would be amazing. That actually, it, it like, no, just, but cool. really, like him, him popping up at WrestleMania, coming to WWE, mm-hmm. being treated the right way. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I really think that. that 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 feels like it should happen, mm-hmm. all around. Yeah. So I miss Kurt Angle. Yeah, it's like it's like he hasn't uh, been around for like eight years. Um, yeah. uh, El, or, uh, Wheels, do you have anything? I was thinking my dream that would make it really an awesome WrestleMania would be. One, keep the damn belt off of Batista. Yes. I don't care if it's Strip Wage, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton. Just keep it off of him. And the second would be Emma winning the Divas title for the first time at Mania. That could be interesting. Yeah, again, another <laughs> another we threw everybody at this match situation here. I don't even know how they're going to do that at this point. Divas Championship scramble. I think they just decided... They, they, they reached into a big bowl and went, all right, let's just throw the roster on Mania and everybody just go into different things. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got to use that oh, data. Yeah. There you go. Uh, to finish out the email, he says, uh, that's all for me, fellas. Wrestling during this time of year always seemed to be a little better thanks to the season and the past several episodes of Wrestling Mayhem Show have only added to that flavor and excitement. You guys are the seasoning salt and pepper to the meat that is WWE, potatoes that are TNA, green beans of ROH, and the refreshing drink that is New Japan Pro Wrestling. Damn, I am hungry now. Regards, Dustin. <laughs> P.S. WWE supports hate crimes. This was evident by the Sheamus versus English match. White on white crime is serious, and WWE should know the severity of what they are teaching to our youth. Uh, there you go. Aiden English. First look at him uh, on the network here. I thought it was pretty fantastic. Was great. Yet not his greatest singing performance. I yeah, don't think. I, I love his gimmick, though. I think it's amazing. Oh, it's great. It's great. If you all know, he comes in operatic singing into the ring in, with a spotlight on him. And they didn't do it, but you, typically the crowd will throw roses in for him. But I think after he wins a match, now I think about it. So on that note, guys, speaking of uh, Dustin's getting a little hungry there. And too bad he's not in the Pittsburgh area, or else he could go check out our supporters on this and other podcasts on the uh, Sorgatron Media Network. You notice there's a little the link over there. The greatest pizza in the world. Uh, pretty much, yeah. If you go to sliceonbroadway.com, a uh, fantastic place here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, P- Pittsburgh in Beachview, uh, it, it, down here. Uh, some of the greatest pizza they're providing us, helping us with our in-studio guests that come and join us here on Tuesday nights. Uh, uh, w- help to feed them. And it's fantastic pizza. Last week you heard Van Mike, a Bronxian from New York City, uh, explaining how great it was. And this guy knows his pizza. Uh, we actually had uh, AJ on uh, Awesome Cast earlier tonight talking about it as well. And he's very excited to be coming back to Pittsburgh and be able to sample that again as well. Uh, so check it out if you're in the area or tweet them at PGH underscore slice and say you heard about them on the Mayhem show and and, and you want to check them out when you're in Pittsburgh. Um, so so we're, we're trying to find some neighborhood people to help us out with these shows. Um, so we are very Pittsburgh focused on these shows and our opinions and the people on them. Uh, so why not support some some local Pittsburgh Pittsburgh businesses that support us? And you can also they are uh, of course the 2012 WPXI Best Pizza in Pittsburgh mm-hmm. winner, uh, which you can they're in the running for again. Go nominate them over at I have a Bitly link for you bit.ly slash slice WPXI. Uh, you do need their address. You can grab that from sliceonbroadway.com or sorgatronmedia.com for all the information for helping out. Go hit on that nominate button. Go through that and let them know you want them to pick uh, Slice on Broadway for their 2014 Best Pizza in Pittsburgh. It's very good stuff. They have a lot of great specialty pizzas um, and all kinds of stuff. I recommend asking for the Gonzo Pizza, some really good stuff. Buffalo Chicken, the wife is loving. All kinds of stuff. So check them out, Slice on Broadway. Dot com and go nominate on Bitly. I'm slash. voting right now, Sorg. Oh, there you go. Bobby is As voting right now. Help them out. Help them out. Like I said, tweet them at pgh underscore slice on the tweets as well. So with that, guys, uh, we do have a voicemail. Uh, we have some other things going on too, I think. Uh, so let's touch on that. I'll bring the voicemail up. Um, in the meantime, uh, was there any discussions you guys had on the... <laughs> let's, let's touch again. I, I love how explodey uh, that board has been lately. <laughs> That's the internet for you. That's the internet for you. Yep. Uh, a lot of great memes, a lot of great stuff going on on the Facebook um, while I load my email so you guys can vamp for me here. Um, <laughs> bam. Let's see. I know there was something something odd going on out there on Facebook. I'll take a look over here. Facebook. <laughs> hey, we have some bitch. Dead air. Do do do. do. <laughs> <laughs> it's loading slow. Dude, I'm sorry. Dude, I got it back. Dude, let's hear. Uh, let's see here. Joe Joe Manganiello, who we will get into yeah, a little bit uh, later. Um, he, uh, Matt Carlin's posted a video on Instagram from Instagram of him, uh, doing his macho man impersonation. Nice. Joe Manganiello is blowing up the wrestling mayhem show Facebook page. Cause there he is with the Hulkster and the, uh, the, the Schwarzenegger and, uh, it, the comments on this one were, they made me happy and then they upset me. Um, because they started with different ways to say his name. There was mm-hmm. Bobby with uh, Joe Maple Mangoes, Joe Acapulco, <laughs> uh, and Joe Stromichizo. 
Uh, and then there was Riz with Joe Man Candles and uh, Joe Man Cantaloupe. And uh, let's see, Jennifer. Oh, no, no, that's just he smells like strawberry cheesecake. Good to know. And that's and where I, the uh, Joe Mangle Mangle came in. Joe Mangle Mangle. And uh, I'm also going to throw out now Joe Mancanical Pencil. <laughs> um, Joe and Mancanical then it degenerated up. into uh, Mr. Freeze jokes. And I got a nosebleed at work, and everyone wondered why. <laughs> 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 Are you actually on the Lost Island? <laughs> the puns caused oh, your nose to bleed. Don't fuck with me, Bobby. <laughs> hey, another interesting thing. I actually, I actually got a chance to check out. Uh, uh, thank you to uh, whoever's been sharing the uh, 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 Z True Island story. Or no, true. That was me. sorry, Zack Ryder's Last Resort. I watched through those first three episodes. The third wow. one was awesome. Wow. <laughs> I like the way his character's going. So the basic concept appears to be, and he explains this in the first one, was like, hey, um, um, I came to wrestling, and I was going to live the dream, and I started here 10 years ago in this place. He should say, like one episode, he shows the place where he trained at up there. Um, I'm gonna li- I lived the dream, and then I started an internet show, and I got attention, and I, and I got the U.S. belt, and then I got pushed off of a, a, of a, of a stage in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going st- to do this again, but now it's more serious. you know. Um, good. Good for him. I feel like yeah. he, uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, watching these legends of wrestling roundtables, you see kind of the old fogies saying, kids these days, the new talent these days, sit on their ass and just hope, you know, and don't do something about it. And he even self admits, I sat there and got sad because I'm not on Raw. I'm not on Raw. What more do I need to do? And he's like, well, I'm going to go back to the thing that I started with, you know. And he went back to the internet and he went back to developing something new. Good. Mm-hmm. good you know and, and, and they're good videos yeah. they're actually like his laughs when he put up i was impressed i was like this is where they need to take this character yeah yeah and and i and hopefully you know can like he even mentions like can lightning strike twice as far as something like this goes if he makes something good it's he's making something different and maybe it'll catch on maybe it isn't it's a great place for him to experiment um good keep going you know somehow he still has a job and 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 you know if if something Absolutely. happens, you know he can do something else, you know, uh, a la a Colt Cabana or something or something along those lines. Um, great. That last episode with the uh, the Back to the Future gag and the and the and the funeral for the old Zack Ryder and that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I, and I don't know how I really feel like the I, I don't know if it's him. I don't know if it's WWE, but I feel like something dropped the ball or like we got him to this point and we're selling all this merch. And we just let it fade away, right? We just let it fade off, mm-hmm. and all the broski stuff, and like how many, how many of the 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 hair and the bandanas and all that kind of stuff you saw when you went to the shows for the longest time, but then he's nowhere to be found. Who dropped the ball on something like this that seemed to be printing, you know, printing money at this point? So. Mm-hmm. But really sad to say. Anyways, we do have that voicemail from Matt Carlin's, our friend in the mainstream media. So let's we- see what's going on. Uh, Bobby, watch it here because it is coming off of your computer. So so oh, so no. careful with this. It's going to be loud. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Oh, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Hey, members. Um, it's your friend in the mainstream media. Doing it both diggity style today in the car. I'm on Carson Street. About five cars going on 15 miles an hour total. There's your traffic report from Slow. KDK. Um, observation. <laughs> ah, there it is. Um, because, uh, well, uh, well, first, happy birthday, Sword. Um, I got you a voice you. now. You're welcome. Um, observation and a question. Observation, last week you guys were talking about part-timers coming in from WrestleMania. You were name-dropping The Rock and Brock Lesnar and Chris Jericho. And once again... You biased fools! You omit the Undertaker, the biggest part timer of them all. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, I think the Undertaker was inferred in that conversation. Uh, don't you guys agree? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to yeah. give you a laundry list of of all the guys, but I, you know, I think we just threw out a few examples or something like that. But, but sorry, yes, the Undertaker is definitely included in that list. Yeah, back to his voicemail. We we'll need to take your blinders off. And oh my God, that guy just tried to pass the time for the street. Jesus. Um, you don't to take your blinders off. And by the way, guys, please don't put yourself in more danger than you're already in. Dropping, hey. a, driving on Carson Street, and I'm trying to leave a voicemail. It's 
It's fine. Everybody that sends voicemails does it from their cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I think a lot of them listen to the show in their car is the thing. Yeah, um, it, it seems to make sense. Guys, uh, Undertaker is a top offender when it comes to part-timers coming in for a WrestleMania payday. You just need to accept that. Now, question. Talking point, if you will. Um, I never wrote two stuff about Bray Wyatt talking smack on John Cena. I think it's pretty rad myself. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to know if you guys would uh, like to offer uh, some recollections as to uh, wrestlers who have ever stood up to John Cena, specifically in um, uh, battles of wits, battles of words with John Cena, uh, your favorite guys who have uh, matched wits and words with John Cena. Uh, my personal favorite, this might not come as a surprise to a lot of you guys, is Wade Barrett, um, specifically when he was leading the Nexus I used to love it whenever he would know sell John Cena's joke to just kind of smirk and be like, oh, very funny Cena, blah, 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 and uh, kind of go off from there. That's kind of what kind of was the beginning of my uh, admiration for Barrett was that he didn't really, uh, <laughs> he kind of would always brush off Cena's terrible humor. Anyway, enjoy that uh, question and enjoy this voicemail uh, with a bow on top for you. Blotch, candle, sword. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks, Matt Carlins, for that. So what do you guys think? I, I you know. Just a goddamn minute. Whoa. <laughs> uh -oh. Just a fucking second. I have to respectfully disagree with Matt Carlins, but with cursing. Uh, before we get into the second part, The Undertaker, uh, I, it's fine. He comes back every year to do the WrestleMania payday. That's good. That's fine. Um, but he, one, puts on amazing matches, which yes. last I checked, Batista and The Rock are not doing. And two, he comes back for Mania and wrestles. But he's not, when he's not at Mania, he's not out getting famous somewhere else and then coming back to capitalize on that. He's mm -hmm. just coming back for Mania. As far as I know, he's just buying real estate otherwise. So, no, I don't consider The Undertaker to be a uh, and, and working on his the bike. worst of the part time. Yeah. But he, but he does count, you know. And I can't say he's part time, but he's on a reduced schedule, and he's a money maker. And let's be honest, if he wasn't part time, he would not be still going. Oh no, he would definitely not be still going. But I, uh, I mean, he, 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 I don't care what AJ AJ will argue with me on this, but he comes out and he puts on great matches every year. And that's the other thing. When we start, we talked about that. We we're talking about people that had left and come back specifically they left did something else and mm -hmm. and and their value was in coming back and whenever any of those guys come back and i don't even know batista really pushed himself up to be famous for much else except for potentially this movie coming up but he's definitely no rock by any concern uh as far as like a, a hollywood guy um he's he, in his in one fail swoop, he is in a better movie than any of the Rock's movies. That's true. <laughs> that okay, ish. And if ish. not better, I would say bigger. I still think you can see the Rock as a modern day Arnold Schwarzenegger is still up. Tell tell me anybody that's a better action leading guy. Mm hmm. I can't Joe think. Manganiello. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, there's Joe Mangello, <laughs> but other than that. Um, Mangiello. Well, let's get to the second. Anybody else have any, any comments about the Undertaker side of that? Nope. I, and, uh, okay. I think uh, everything was said. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to his second question, which I now forget because we talked about Undertaker for so long. Sorry, what? Well, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, uh, John Cena. John Cena. Anybody? Wit of words with John Cena. Uh, the Rock, not it. <laughs> no. I feel like The Rock didn't have. It was. It was kind of fun at first, but it. It. I couldn't take that for two years. You know what I mean? Um, I. Although looking back, I really think you're going to see. I. I really think Cena, The Rock, for us not really enjoying the ride. I think looking back and, and looking at the, the big picture of what got accomplished, you got to think about it. Can you remember the last time there was a storyline that started at one WrestleMania and completed two WrestleManias later? And, me, and I think that's the hole that feels like it's missing from this WrestleMania is we don't have anything that grand going on for WrestleMania 30. Mm. Eh, 
It's, it's it depends. A pretty decent show, brand, I, think. I mean, nothing that it's not the thing that we were going to enjoy about WrestleMania, us here on this show. But broadly, yes, I think it was like the biggest thing. The biggest thing since uh since Stone Cold Tyson, I feel. I, I do want to go on record and say that I am invested in this year's mayhem. I'm into it. Mayhem? No. Mayhem. <laughs> this year's mayhem too. But but I mean everything I've seen so far, all the all the match developments and stuff, I'm excited. You know? I I I'm really interested to see everything. Because for the first time in a while, I don't know, I can't like, this gonna, it might sound smarky, I don't care. I can't predict the outcomes of any of these matches. It's not obvious yeah. anymore. Yeah. So, and that's the yeah, excitement. That, that's got me excited. That's the excitement. We talked about earlier, like, what is the thing that's going to grab you uh, and make this memorable? It, it, there you go. It's, it's us sitting on the edge of seats and say, because, you know, you could say that most of last year's WrestleMania seemed fairly predictable. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, of course, Triple H is going to win that. Of course, uh, uh, Taker's going to beat Punk, even though we kind of wish and they make us doubt for a moment there. Uh, of course, you know, Cena's going to get his back and, and, and come out on top here. Like, not everything was like, every time it happened, you're like, mm, okay, okay, I see that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Um, versus this is like, mm-hmm. We, we talked about last night. It was like, we really could see, I think LB, you said, anybody could, ha- any of four people could walk away with a belt that Sunday night. Yep. Any of four mm-hmm. people across two matches. And so many different configurations could happen with those matches in the long run. Uh, it's it's going to be very interesting. So, um, so to answer his question, who do you guys think would, uh, you know, kind of counts there? Since we talked so much about somebody who didn't in the long run. Um, I, I the thing that comes to mind is uh, is when he had his little thing there with Daniel Bryan and Daniel Bryan just tore him apart, um, you know, promo wise, talking about how like, you know, in Japan we would slap each other to get people get 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 up for the match and uh, and you don't deserve that kind of respect because you're not a real wrestler and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Bobby, you had one. I'm gonna go with CM Punk. Uh, and the whole Money in the Bank feud when uh, uh, just the whole pipe bomb, uh, bomb incident was around that time. And uh, I, th- I think those two like jotted each other pretty good during that. So that's going to be mine. It seems like anybody who's like, here's what the real deal is with you, Cena. Like anybody says, this mm-hmm. is why you're on top, you yeah. know, uh, uh, seems to be the better ones out of, out of that. Wheels, do you have anything in, in mind? Honestly, I mean, I agree with LB and Bobby. I mean... You have two strong indie guys who are based around wrestling that basically shot them down. I mean, entertainment-wise, with Cena, Big Show did pretty good with the battle of words, even going into dressing up as a rapper back and forth with Cena. Mm-hmm. So you could have Big Show into that. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I kind of, I kind of want to go back and watch the uh, the old Undertaker John Cena feud. Uh, back when he was like a shitty rapper on SmackDown, <laughs> and uh, relive that. I feel like it would be a there was a really trip good down that lane. They actually had a really good uh, WrestleMania rewind where it was they went back. They had like Cena's pretty much the rise of Cena, and it was Cena as the Thugonomics guy against uh, Big Show for the U.S. belt at the one WrestleMania. I and then, remember his and then oh, J- and then JBL. Uh, so there was actually two matches on that rewind. I like that the kind of different aspects because the first two were like the Andre match in the Mr. T WrestleMania one. It was like, well, that makes sense. But what are you going to do for the rest of the show? Remember his feud with uh, Carlito? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that where that too. motherfucker stabbed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, usually, usually it's, it's Cena, you know, really kind of running rings around people, uh, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Definitely nothing like this. This is a whole new animal here, I think, with 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 Wyatt, the creepy. Yeah, I mean, Wyatt's honestly creature. doing the better job of getting into people's heads, and especially Cena's. Mm-hmm. For sure. Excellent. So with that, guys, uh, let's take a quick peek at 
uh, uh, what's going on lately. I've got, of course, RWA had a DVD and another show that will be on DVD very soon this past weekend. Wheels, you know a little bit about that, of course. Uh, fun yes, stuff. Uh, of course, uh, we're talking about RWA Fury 5 from back in February. Uh, here's a little preview, a little music from Basic Sickness. We'll be right back with Remember When. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. And of course, check out that RWA and all other releases over at uh, SorgatronMedia.com slash store digital download DVD. Uh, and of course, use that sale code from the beginning of the show uh, for, uh, we always have weekly and we have other flash sales and everything like that. Follow at Sorgatron Media on Twitter for that kind of stuff. Now with us now, we kind of blew up everything uh, of course we this is the part where we let a bunch of people uh, a lot of the mayhemers in riz has joined us of course um mad mike from his domicile and also in his domicile are his dutters and jen carlin's um wife of the mainstream media is that my wife <laughs> oh otherwise known as my wife my wife uh also with us on the couch i have more people in my apartment than you have in the studio this is true because i don't know do we count the cat we got missy hi and oh all, of course we and count all the missy monkeys too. where's dean we've got dean the gator Dean the Gator. Yeah, oh, no. I love the pictures that you've been <laughs> posting with Dean the Gator. And uh, of course, the heater just kicks on. And AJ looks like he might be joining us as well uh, in, in the Hangouts. But, so this is the point where we all remember when. And remember when, and then remember again, and then remember, and then, and then, and then, and then, and again. And then... it's weird because I'm looking at Daughters and Jen. <laughs> <laughs> and this week on Remember When, of course, we're building the WrestleMania. A lot of stuff it seems to be coming together. And uh, one of the great suggestions, I think, LB, you had this one, is what were some of your favorite uh, builds to WrestleMania, right? Yes. Builds to WrestleMania matches, whether the WrestleMania match is delivered or not. Oh, boy. Let's talk about the lead up. Lots of no. <laughs> so let us know so who wants to go first what's your favorite build favorite build we got a lot of you guys so let's uh keep them a little bit short this week i'll go okay Speaking I, of a little bit short i, I think i do it because <laughs> he's low to the ground andre and hulk hogan okay i mean the turn of andre him ripping the shirt off of hulk hogan and like and the cross which stabbed hogan and made him bleed from the chest i mean i was like "Ooh, this is serious mm -hmm. <laughs> so i mean that was a great build as watching it as a kid so that's my choice i, I remember seeing a recap so many times on the old tapes you know leading into wrestlemania some of the old hulkamania tapes and everything like that um yet that that accidental bleeding was like was just icing on the cake for it mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. So, uh, what about you, uh, the ladies? Since I'm on this hangout, uh, what, uh, Dutters or Jen, do you have have anything? Dean the Gator says we're gonna steal. Um, you guys brought up uh, Taker and Punk. We're gonna steal that from you. Okay. That was uh, that, that was a pretty solid build up, and actually the match delivered. That was that was definitely one of my favorite Taker matches. Actually, favorite Punk matches too. Mm -hmm. Is that your joint answer? All three of you there. <laughs> Yes, all three of us, <laughs> including the Gator. Dean, Dean would wishes it was. Dean uh, wants to go with you know the Shield, but uh, we're we're not quite sure about that. <laughs> awesome. Actually, the, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Over here. Shield versus Kane and the Outlaws has been pretty good. Too. Yeah, that is true. That mm -hmm. is good. Especially after last night. How, how good of a build up that was. Corporate. Oh my Shield. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Mad Mike? Um, I'm going to say Shawn Michaels and Chris Jericho. That, like, Shawn Michaels, like, Chris Jericho idolizing Shawn Michaels and then saying he wanted to be the first Chris Jericho. 
and then leading to him trying to be number one in the Rumble with Sean number two, throwing Sean out of the Rumble, that whole thing. And then it led to one of my favorite WrestleMania matches ever. And that's so not even that that's not even the later one where he was in the suit and and, and that one where he punched his wife and everything like that. Like this oh, was yeah. this was years before that. Oh yeah, this was still when Sean was like unsure of like it was Sean's first mania back. Mm-hmm. So he was still unsure that he could perform at that level, and that match delivered well beyond the build. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what about you, uh, Bobby FJ Town? Punch I'm going to go a little different here. I'm going to go with the first ever Money in the Bank match. Okay. Uh, just yeah, based nice. on the fact that um, Jericho invented it, and <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't know what it was going to be like at the time, and we, we were all wondering, like, what the heck is this going to be? And it, it, it just stole the show at WrestleMania. I, I think that's why it's, like, one of my favorite moments from WrestleMania, regardless of, you know. Nice. That first one was amazing. Uh, AJ, are you on? I see you're muted. I don't know if you are. You, are you going to be, be on this one? AJ? Maybe. Maybe. We'll I see. think he froze. We'll see if he comes back here. Um, all right. What about you, uh, uh, Riz? Uh, again, the match was horrible. But uh, <laughs> the Goldberg Brock Lesnar feud Ooh. was pretty good. <laughs> okay. yeah. I, I know. I hear the groans. And I was like, there. And the breathing in the mic. I'm allowed to groan. <laughs> But having those two, the the two build up for that match, having like those two big guys going at it that people wanted to see back then, they wanted to see that match. There there didn't have to be a build in that. Mm-hmm. It's just those two guys going at it, mm-hmm. and people wanted to see it happen. Until and they then, didn't. <laughs> and, and, and then it happened. And then and then it's it also didn't. kind of cool that Goldberg costs um, Brock Lesnar the belt, and that's how Eddie won it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you, LB? LB? Punch Fox. What's up? <laughs> What's yours? I thought Lunchbox turned into a dog there for a second. <laughs> he was barking. Barking his answer. That was my dog. That's weird. Sorry about that. That, that's that was his answer. He was I, excited I for Titus O'Neil. I transformed into a dog briefly, but I'm back now. Okay. Back. Okay. Um... Okay, so uh, wrestle uh, WrestleMania. <laughs> Are you drunk right now? <laughs> Shut up! No, I'm not drunk this week. Okay, I'll be drunk next week. I'm not drunk this week. Maybe I'll be drunk next week. Fuck you. 1993 <laughs> Royal Rumble. The Undertaker. You know, nobody was acknowledging that it was a streak, but he had Paul Bear, and he had a terrible match against Giant Gonzalez. Oh. And every week, oh. 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 come out in his crazy fucking animal suit and beat up people, and it just. I remember looking at him and thinking, "What the fuck is have even happening right now?" The bodysuit, man, and then they fell, followed that up with a rest in peace match with at SummerSlam. I'm watching. I was watching the Raw when I woke up this morning to, of of leading up into that. It was it was pretty <laughs> yeah. amazing. Um, I still can't believe that one ended in like a disqualification involving chloroform. Yep, yep. Not a lot of chloroform, yeah, guys. Kill him. Yeah. Oh no, no, it was ether. It was ether. Nobody cares. Bobby, <laughs> who's next? Bobby? Knows the difference between chloroform and ether, apparently. <laughs> Awesome. Does anybody uh, provide us with this either? Uh, Harvey Whippleman. Yes. Yes. Harvey Whippleman apparently no has, plans here. Has, has the hookup as far as that goes. Uh, you know, mine is the time where uh, building up in WrestleMania, uh, the title had been vacated. Uh, Kane had been um, um, banned from WWE City. And then there was a giant fire bear involved as well um so i, mean, I think that, that was like the most unique build the Wait, wrestlemania you mean, like in wrestlemania you mean like in the scooby-doo cartoon uh no i think this the really happened Fire i don't think it wasn't a no, cartoon that, that, it was so Scooby realistic it was on last night riz how do you not remember that wrestlemania oh no, it was Let's, completely uh, it's not on the network i think so so that's Scooby. definitely and then my the punisher re- removed his mask and it was like it was me scooby it was me oh. yeah yeah. No, I did watch I that today, and that was very interesting. I mean, we'll touch on that in a moment. Uh, but no, I, 
I had a real answer. What was my real answer? Oh, Sergeant Slaughter and Hulk Hogan. I remember, uh, again, as being a child that didn't really understand that we were at a war, apparently, uh, just being captivated yeah. by this. Um, because it was kind of the height of all-American <laughs> good guy Hulk Hogan uh, to me uh versus something somebody who i remembered as a gi joe originally <laughs> actually before i knew him as a gi joe before i knew him as a wrestler is how how i kind of worked that out um and that always confused me as well and and, and i was refreshed of that with the legends round table with him talking they were talking about patriotism uh that was, Patri Patri round that was a great legends round table. yeah it's on wwe network go check that out um and they had slaughter on there talking about when he went iraqi he even talked about when he you know, to turn face the first time to fight, uh, uh, you know, Iron Sheik from Iran and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, great talk about that. Uh, how how serious that that became for them that they had to have security and everything like that. And, and it just that on top of everything leading to the uh, Macho Man Ultimate Warrior uh, retirement match, I thought was fantastic as well. Um, so, what, did I just take yours? Did I just take yours? Oh, I didn't dive too much, and I don't remember as much of that build. Can you can you tell me a little bit about that? What do you remember, Missy, wife of the show? <laughs> Pretty much just that, um, like what you were just talking about, that the warrior was WWE champ. Yeah, and he had the Royal Rumble match with Sergeant Slaughter. Randy Savage interfered. Yep, and the they put them in for this big match. Um, but my big, my favorite thing about it was the uh, Randy Savage, Miss Elizabeth reunion after the fact, and then they finally got married at SummerSlam. So that was like my big yay type moment match when I was a kid. Match heaven and a match made in hell. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, still, I got it. I got it. I got that one. And Doc Remedy for not reenacting that entirely during their wedding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm very upset with them yeah. for not doing that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because awesome. Doc Remedy in that hat would have been a wedding to remember. <laughs> you know, even better than the hat would have been the glasses. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice with that i think we got everybody there let me know if i'm wrong but if you have your wrestlemania build moments please let us know uh in the youtube comments on awesome or i'm sorry uh, at mayhem show on twitter or in the comments on the uh wrestling mayhem show facebook group or facebook google plus wherever you find us let us know uh so with that let me tell you guys about t-shirts somebody over there has a t-shirt i believe yep. that they yep. wore last night at raw uh if they can Where's that at? Oh, there it is. He means you. Daughters, that's well, you. That's look at you. your screen. <laughs> I know. There you I go. Can't... It's so weird I keep looking over at Mike. But I can't see you in Sorg's hangout window. There I can is. just see you. Property of mayhem as uh, as uh, wonderfully demonstrated by the Dutters up there in New York right now visiting the Mad Mike. Uh, and, of course, you can get yours at ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. You can get that as well as the Good Times at Wrestling Mayhem show uh, t-shirt in the style of Ridgemont High. Or uh, over at ProWrestlingTees.com, you can support many of friends of the show including Zima Ion, including uh, you know, other guys like AJ Styles. Uh, there's great stuff, great uh, Andre the Giant stuff going on there uh, over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Uh, support indie wrestling uh, through this way, through these t-shirts. Uh, a lot of them have great stores. JR just opened a store for his podcast, of course. Um, everything starts for our, sh our shirts. They start at nineteen ninety nine, uh, A little higher for some. I think there might be hoodie options. Uh, no, maybe not. They're just regular shirts. Uh, and and they, they're up from there for bigger sizes, of course. Um, but go, go over there. Support indie wrestling with that. Whoops. Something went Ooh. weird. Something went I, weird. I, when, I, when I got my order, they also sent me a pin and uh, a magnet it was the, it was a chair magnet mm -hmm. and a pin of the the randy savage um the cartoon version from the, the website from one oh, the, the dre the, yeah, not the dre beats the macho man beats one yeah, yeah one. nice I was pretty excited about that. Nice. It's a good company, good quality shirts. I'm really impressed. They're very with them. nice. They're probably the best. They 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 are the best part. The best shirts we're doing, um, because I think they they're more like a one off t shirt place, but they have like a nice in in mass process. Versus we've used Zazzle before. We've used Spreadshirt. We've used Cafe Press. Um, like the closest to this are our Spreadshirt 
uh, shirts. They had a pretty decent quality, but I'm starting to see the fade on them a little earlier than I expected. Uh, but yeah, really enjoying what we're getting out of this uh, for pro wrestling tees. Uh, I make sure I, whenever we put something other, I make sure to order one of them. So I have them on hand. And I know exactly what people are getting and I'm really happy with, with that. And you can support the show uh, through that way as well. So uh, with that, we got I got a, uh, well, I got a note here that there might be something. Wife of the show is motioning towards me, so I, I'm, I'm going to find out what this is about. Uh, huh. But apparently, something's going on right now uh, here in the studio. Something's going on. Do you do you want to come over and explain, or you, you you went off your mic, so I don't know I don't know what's happening here. So do you, can we all come oh, here? Come here. Do come something. Here. You got to talk into the mic. What's going we're gonna on? Share the microphone here. Okay, we're going to share the microphone. What's going on? All right, guys, guys, if I could get your help here. As we all know, yeah. it's our commander in chief's birthday. Here. If <laughs> if we can join in a rousing bout of a happy birthday, please. This is gonna and sound while great. While doing this, this is gonna be, I'm gonna be completely in sync. Think. I am Only going to get the uh, the next one. <clears throat> okay. So okay. welcome to this is your life. So here we go, guys. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday. I felt like those SNO weekend update skits where like Fred Armson was leading us all. <laughs> So that's what it sounds like for seven people to not entirely yeah. be in sync singing a song no. on Google Hangout at the same time. That's amazing. It sounded awesome, by the oh, way. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So uh, what do we got here? What is this? I don't know. How can we show this? Um, Bobby F. J. Town. Yes. It's the greatest cake ever. Oh, uh -oh. Bobby's seen this? Bobby F. J. Town. Put on some Seamus Cupcakes. Onto my Twitter feed. Oh my! As a challenge. Oh, oh my! Oh now Lord. I have a before and after picture that I just sent to Sorg so that he can put up for for the show. But to say the least, they did not look as awesome as what I have just created. Oh what, no! What camera am I going to? <laughs> uh, that, that that little one right there. That that are, one right, they, right they, there. That one there. I don't know. Can you see that? Uh, let it get. Holy it's crap! The most amazing is thing that, about that. Wow. Working? We'll go ahead. We're, we're going to ruin my shot here, but um, wow. there it is, right there. If you guys are on video, oh, we'll have the picture up on the Jesus. site for everybody else. Audio, okay. audio listeners, <laughs> you're out of luck. Head, oh, over, stay there. head over to wrestlingmayhemshow.com. <laughs> that would be shameless. We have food porn right cake here. Cake is it Mr. Sorg? You're out of luck. Shameless. For Sorg. <laughs> my God. What kind of cake is this? It is a carrot cake. It's, yeah. a oh. it's a full ginger oh, cake. It is a full ginger cake. It's a full on ginger <laughs> cake. It is amazing. We would have also accepted. Damn it, why couldn't there be a show this I'm weekend with, with, with you guys? Now. That is amazing. You know baked goods can pop up at any time here in the studio. You guys know this. That is true. That's uh, that is amazing. And I've received a Ninja Turtle cake in the past, and that is amazing <laughs> beyond that. <laughs> so... That is great, fella. And it, well, yeah, Captain America. There's a Mer Captain America shield that one year, too. So, fantastic. <laughs> Amazing. And I'm going to get a little sampling here. Uh, so, what, so, What part of Seamus are you going to eat? What, yeah, what part of Seamus am I going to eat? Is, what part of I don't know. Where do you start? Where do you want to start? I think I start. Shave his, shave his head. <laughs> you want to shave his head? They're, they're saying the shave. Oh, we're getting beard. We're, getting, we're starting with the beard, apparently. Okay, let's start with the beard. So... Um, see, can I have a cake delivered when the mayhem is on my birthday in two weeks? Mad Mike, Mad Mike wants a cake delivered when his birthday's in two we'll weeks. Fa we'll fax you a cake on the mayhem. We'll yes. fax it. Yeah, we'll fax a cake. Fax cake. We'll fax a cake. So, so. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Um, when, you cut, when you cut it, you have to yell, "Fella, fella!" <laughs> And checks. She should have just put a piece in his face while screaming bro. <laughs> bro cake. Oh, that would have been great. Bro cake. Bro cake. Bro cake. Episode title. Bro cake. Bro cake. There you go. Yep. Fantastic. Cake. That's amazing. That's delicious too. Holy crap. Should we like show, should we like tweet Seamus this? Somebody yes. yeah, yeah, somebody tweet him the yeah. tweet him the picture. Look at that awesome carrot cake. 
don't... He retweeted mm. this damn cupcake. Character. He retweeted the cake. Do it. Upgrade. What's that, miss? Hashtag it broke cake. He sent me to yes. Broke cake. All right. Well, yeah, we'll make sure Happy to connect that. Happy, Happy broke, broke day, day, Sorg. Happy broke day. Happy Thanks, broke guys. Day, fella. Happy broke day, Happy fella. Day, fella. Thanks, guys. Happy Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's great. Some... Did you just send me this Batman cat head thing? I sent you a while ago. That's so random. <laughs> now we are totally. Now wow. it's becoming a different. So let's different bring it. Thing. Let's bring it back around here. We got, of course, some guests up in New York, uh, from Pittsburgh, by way of New York. Uh, tell me, tell me about your experience last night, guys, of uh, of Raw from the Barclays Center in in uh, Brooklyn. I don't. know, Where do you start? I don't even know where to start. Um. It was our first trip to the Barclays Center. Uh, it was a real nice facility. We were real impressed with the crowd. That it was a really nice crowd. They were really, really into it, but it wasn't. They, it wasn't there, hijacked Chicago. Yeah, it no. wasn't hijacked Chicago. You didn't hear a lot of punk chants, which was nice. It's a nice little change of pace. They tried Good. to start their own chants. It was fun. It was. It was. The Luke Harper chant got me. Yeah. Yeah, that Let's was surprising. Let's go, Harper. <laughs> In case you guys didn't hear it at home, that's yeah. what it was. But it was a great crowd. I thought the show was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, they were fantastic. Uh, the show, but yeah, not so after the show. <laughs> Mike, was this She's a little shield minded? And anytime Jen hears a word that starts with S H, she immediately assumes it's shield. Uh, Mike, was this uh, like a typical crowd for New York? Is this the first time Raw's been at Barclay like that? It was the second time Raw was at Barclay. The first time was when. Um, Brock Lesnar beat up some dude named Phil hmm. and the Shield took out Mark Henry. Mm -hmm. But it was a really, really fun show. And when uh, we, before we were going there, the advertised dark match was like Cena, Batista, and Brian against, I think, Ryback, Del Rio, and Orton. Mm -hmm. But about... Oh, what was it? Around ten? Yeah, ten o'clock. Around around ten. Like whenever they were going to that commercial break, they said, "Stay tuned after the show. Your main event is the Wyatts versus the Shield." So we got to see a Wyatt Shield match after nice. that Raw. Nice. So was it pretty much like a quick version of what we usually expect from those two? Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was like a it was like a main event version. Hmm. Oh, shit. That's There's a little more shenanigans. Yeah. A little more shenanigans. And, and the, the fun part at the end is um, Seth took or, yeah, Seth took the mic. Seth took the mic. And he thanked the crowd repeatedly for their how great of a crowd they were and how much they appreciated their support and how great it was because they were, I, I think, the first last time they were WWE was in Brooklyn was one of the first times the Shield had first, appeared. Yeah. yeah. So he was, he was very thankful that uh, it was a great crowd and pretty much said continue to keep it up and that they would be back again which is pretty neat because Seth doesn't really don't care much wrong <laughs> wait what's happening i just saw mike uh uh doing a cameo in your shot oh here there he is here that's, that's what we have <laughs> we got pizza <laughs> yeah uh seth seth became like the face Hype man of the shield mm -hmm. yeah well i think I, I took a video of the whole thing i'm gonna upload it Sometime later this week on the Mayhem Show site. Oh, that's cool. But it was a really, really nice promo. Uh, yeah, and I, I always wonder, Mike, because Dean doesn't seem like a really good kind of face mouthpiece there. Dean was still walking around, stroking his hair and licking his lips the whole time. It was very. And he was like doing the whole neck thing, and while while Seth was thanking the crowd. Yeah, it was odd. Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. a medical professional, he needed treatment. <laughs> there have been a lot of these jokes the past two days oh i see i, see. I say jokes loosely because i mean it's gonna happen eventually oh it's gonna happen <laughs> i hope matt's not watching this he is uh no no he's in the chat room he's definitely in the chat room oh he just left the chat room oh did he oh no oh no did he angrily leave the chat room i don't know Nothing was being um, thrown. I think it was more mad about the singing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so, any other what? tidbits from last night you guys want to add? Uh, Joe Maginello smells mm -hmm. like Joe Mango Jello. Strawberry cheesecake. 
Joe Maple Apples. <laughs> what? Maple Apples. Maple Apples. Joe Mama whole, Jamma. It was, it was a whole big Yinzer explosion uh, because uh, Arnold was talking about Bruno, and then he switched it over to Joe, and it's all happening within a minute of each other, so it was yeah. pretty fantastic. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Joe Mango Taco. Yeah. <laughs> Mango tacos. Mango tacos. Oh, and uh, uh, right before Mango they announced that pencil. Arnold was coming out, I did scream a freeze is coming. Just Oh. The Mr. Freeze jokes have been out of hand on the board and Twitter. The ice man cometh. Uh, You're welcome. He looks more like a You're troll. welcome, Mr. Freeze. What? Wow. Wow. Um so, well. Touching on uh, Raw last night, of course, you know you had that that big thing uh, going on. Um, uh, so, so we had our Hall of Famer uh, induction last last night. I want to touch on that. Uh, Razor Ramon, not Scott Hall. Razor yeah. Ramon, which Razor. I thought it was an interesting way for them to put that. Especially, That's a little bit of an issue for me. Is it? I don't think Scott. I don't think Razor Wait. Ramon. Yeah, by himself, is really kind of a Hall of Fame worthy thing. Okay, yeah, he is. I don't think so. Yeah, he was never on WWE TV as Scott Hall, was he? He was when yeah, they came well, back as the later, NWO. Yeah. That's 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 <laughs> why I have a little bit of a problem with this because. Yeah, he was. It also good. puts in fake Scott, fake uh, Razor Ramon. <laughs> so, yeah, it okay. really does. If they're just inducting the character yeah. of Razor Ramon, then mm-hmm. that douche nozzle who was fake Razor Ramon <laughs> is also getting inducted. I think you know. In the, I mean, they're putting Razor Ramon on that because they're putting him in the same class of people from the '90s, like your Ultimate Warrior and Jake the Snake Roberts, and maybe that people, those people won't. I and mean, they can use whichever yeah. name they want. They can use Scott Hall. They can say Razor they Ramon, Scott both. Hall. What, whatever so, they I think want they're, to. I think they're just doing it for um, to make sure in case he dies. Oh. Because notice both DDP yoga guys are going in the same class. Yeah, that's been interesting too. Um, it, it, it does seem like, like DDP has provided half of the Hall of Fame this year. Um, which also makes you wonder, and we, and we mentioned something briefly talking, uh, I think about one of the questions earlier, um, you know, uh, wh- where's DDP as far as the Hall of Fame? You know, I, I think he belongs there. I think he's done enough in the business. I think he's done a very good I, job in the business. I think he's know. done more than Razor Ramon. Yes. What? Wait, wait, yep. wait. wait, wait. He has DDP? saved a lot of people with the yoga. DDP money. was a multiple time WCW champion. He was, and he DDP. worked some of the higher end... Things like the Carl Malone uh, situation. Carl Malone and Jay Leno. I think he's done enough to warrant. Don't you mention Jay Leno's name on this show. (laughs) He is my my Sean Stasiak. Wow. (laughs) Wow. I did not. I hate Jay Leno. I did not realize that. I hate Jay Leno. Is that as a a Conan supporter? Yes. uh, I think Bob needs a hug. As a supporter of comedy and Conan. Oh, wow. (laughs) <laughs> what is happening up there? It's very interesting to see Dutters hugging her iP- her iPad. <laughs> it's the first of all, Samsung. Excuse me. It's Samsung. <laughs> Bam. Boom. Yeah, Mike. Okay, so what kind of marketing boost does DDP get if both of these guys thank him during their speeches? Oh, amazing. Um, that, that, that's that's like <clears throat> that's like worth ten times. That's that's more than uh, Shark Tank. That's more than anything else. The um, Hall of Fame might as well be sponsored by DDP Yoga. Yeah, yeah. He should almost he should almost induct both of them at this point because I mean these guys are like longtime friends, you know. I I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's inducting Jake. Don't you feel like Don't you feel like Kevin Nash needs to slip in there too? I think Nash is going to induct Razor. Okay. Although if he comes out as Diesel in like a silver suit with tassels, Tassel. that would be amazing. <laughs> And a bow tie. Yes, of course, a bow and a, tie. And a suit tie. Maybe a suit jacket over it. That'd be great, too. Um, yeah, I was actually watching some of the early Diesel stuff, and I'm like, why isn't he in the Hall of Fame? He's done just as much, if not more, than Razor Ramo. He think. has done more. I, I, and he's still I, going. I'm telling you, they're just getting in Razor Ramon in case Scott Hall dies. Oh, man. He is well. Really he's coming around. It. Like we're more worried about Jake. Jake just had cancer treatment, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. So, 
They all came around. I guess, I guess, I guess Scott Hall is the one that's still kind of struggling. He's mostly clean. We'll see how if he survives the WW the WrestleMania weekend experience because that can can be difficult. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Amen is a babysitter. Oh yeah, Amen will oh, be there. Really we should have let yeah. him. We'll loan we'll loan on Amen and be like, it's He's not a, a good idea, bad guy. It's not a good idea. The so. chaperone bad, bad starring guy. Amen yeah. and Scott Hall. Oh, this could be great. <laughs> This could be better than that that movie with Jay Leno and Cheech. <laughs> oh. Are we just going to mention Jay Leno every time? Bobby? Uh, That's the only movie I know he was in, so it's the only reference I can make. It's the only movie he deserves to be in. <laughs> Sword, speaking of, Sword, speaking of DDP yoga, I watched a video today of DDP, Scott Hall, and Jake playing Flappy Birds. I want to see It was this. the most entertaining thing ever. There had been a lot of swearing. Yes, <laughs> there was. <laughs> now, I know and it was coming from DDP. Hey, hey, is he doing a lot of video? Like I, I know at, at one point he was he was uh, like through Jake's and Scott Hall's treatment. They were filming a lot of it, uh, prospectively for doing a documentary down the line. Maybe even just like I think they said web clips because I think he talked about this when he was with um, Steve Austin that he did hire like a documentarian. In order to yeah. take this on, yeah, he he's doing a lot more videos now, and I mean, he did one even after the Flappy Birds. It he's making a DDP yoga app. Yeah, now. yeah, that's what he was on. Um, um, oh, what was that show Shark Tank for? Yeah, yeah, like he was trying to get funding for that app, and yeah, it kind of backfired on him when nobody wanted to take it up on his offer. I, I don't know. I don't know. It was it was kind of an I, odd being being a f- <laughs> a fitness professional in my oh a fitness graduate in as I am. Uh, I can tell you that apps like fitness stuff mm-hmm. rarely work. They rarely work. Mm-hmm. What's, you what's just that? have to. Mm-hmm. It's it's also a fad. Um, people yeah. don't want to invest in it now because what's it going to be doing in five years from now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but and most it's of not them the are first wrestling working. fitness app. Yeah, yeah. TNA did one with awful Jeff Hardy CGI. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> or just. What the hell were they smoking? But in the long run, I mean, it's a good system, um, and and there's so many great success stories when it comes to DDP yoga. Um, a lot of the guys use it. Like I think Shawn Michaels credits a, a bit of it for you know solving some of his back issues. Um, Jericho did too. Jericho, yeah, Jericho says that's all he does now is the DDP yoga. He doesn't, you know, work out, work out anymore. Um, and 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 it's I've been using it. I've been enjoying it. It's it's you know. I, I'm sticking with it enough to, to to burn a lot off, but you know I've been doing doing it, and it's been it's been you know anytime I do it, if I feel better about it, you know. Um, I mean, if you even check around like Facebook, you see a lot of the wrestlers out there, like the indies and the bigger guys using it. So mm-hmm. it's it's out there. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you think a lot of them are using it so that eventually they could turn it back that uh, they could be a DDP success story and get the uh, their own kind of promotion back towards them i don't i don't think that's like a that's, I don't, kind of, that's kind of a long tail thing to say i'm going to do this workout just to get attached to this project you know DDP yoga uh, bump. and i've talked to uh, you know i know a few yoga professionals i've talked to them about like how it is and how it's like a park calisthenics and it's a legitimately <clears throat> good system from the sounds of it i mean uh, j- just the, the looking at you know some of the six you know, success stories that they've had from the early on. I think I think it's been pretty fantastic. I and mean, I that use it in guys. my class, mm-hmm. and they don't know it. And they don't know it. And they don't know it. And what does your class consist of? I mean, is it like a yoga old thing? people? Old people? Okay. Very <laughs> old people doing exercises. Mm-hmm. Yes. So are you are you using the this is turning into a whole different podcast. Are you using like yeah. the, like the Welcome to Yoga Mayhem everybody? Are you using like the resistance <laughs> like the self resistance parts of it? Yeah, self resistant courses like the self resistant part of it and everything that has to do with like using your body as the weight. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's <clears> And that's why I'm I'm I really like DDP yoga as well. Mm. I mean, Namaste. just using your muscles, your weight, your 
body weight, body mass to push mm -hmm. and work out. It's amazing. And DDP has something. He just needs to work on it. Yeah. And, and for me, and I think it really takes to wrestling fans. Cause like whenever I, I, I do do it, it's like, you know, DDP's barking orders at me to do one thing or another is like effective. Cause I hear the DDP that I remember from, you know, <laughs> From ready to rumble. From ready to rumble, for one thing, <laughs> and and like, like that that kind of sticks with me. You know what I mean? And that makes me, I don't know how to put it. Like that that, that makes that motivates me. You know? Or you get to the point where even even something as simple as do a pinfall, and I'm like, I know what a pinfall is. I'm a wrestling fan. You know? So, I mean, so Sorg, Sorg, if you had to pick the ultimate wrestler to motivate you in a workout program. Would it be Sergeant Slaughter? Ultimate Warrior. Oh my no. God! You would be you would be climbing to the moon. Oh, oh that no. is a, that is the thing. What if they just do <laughs> DDP yoga, but he brings in other wrestlers to motivate you and 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 deploy it to you on DVD uh, for different motivations? Like I could do the energy yoga thing every day, but you know I, I hear the same thing and the same tips every day. What if I had a version of the same workout, but the ultimate warrior was barking warders at me? You will or, stay in the downward dark or, pose until the seventh moon rises over the <laughs> You will continue with the downward dog until the hounds come for your soul. And yes. Hulk Hogan, you will know. <laughs> you will know that you're sweating and your heartbeat is rising and you need to take a safety break. <laughs> <laughs> I think we what just the better order on? yoga. Can I also do the whole safety break. <laughs> That's the whole like every time every time you take a break, all the all it is is just him snarling and you get so annoyed with it that you get back to the yoga. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. It's just a, it's just a loop of, <laughs> and like, but it's like a close up of like this part of his mouth, you know, uh, <laughs> for you, you know, the nose and a nose and mouth and chin part for you guys on oh, audio, or like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That make me motivated. I'm going back to the downward dog like nothing, man. You know. The Ultimate Warrior did uh, make sure I didn't smoke when I was a youngster. <laughs> oh, wait. Didn't he, like, tear them all apart? You know? Mm -hmm. I think I found... No, I, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll recite the exact PSA. Oh, cause... no. The Ultimate Warrior has a lot of bad habits, brother! <laughs> Damn, I'm laughing too much. <laughs> you also get a great in echo since you have you two mics <laughs> It, it's just it's a, not be a survivor, don't smoke. Okay, he's like breaking apart ten thousand cigarettes in his hands. Oh, you mean this PSA what right amazing. here? <laughs> I don't have audio on here, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's like, I thought he was like eating them at first. <laughs> By the way, I think he's intercontinental champion at this point to put you yes. in a time. Yeah, that made me stop. And I'm pretty sure, like, I, I, I remember a moment where I found, I think one of my parents was taking up smoking again. And I found them. And I think I did that to the cigarettes. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. I remember tearing apart cigarettes and throwing them in the trash when I found them in the house. And I think I was directly motivated by this video. <laughs> yeah. Ultimate yeah. Warrior, costing your parents money since... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they didn't stick with it. They didn't stick with the smoking at that point. So it worked. Well, of course not. You kept ripping up their cigs, sword. <laughs> and snarling at them for some reason. They thought there was something wrong with me. <laughs> sword with streamers on his arms. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I'm picturing a tiny sword. Just no standing wonder. with a handful of cigarettes in his hand, snarling at his folks, tearing them up and having them fall into the garbage can. Oh god! Finally, something from my ch one another thing from my childhood finally comes together thanks to pro wrestling. There you go, there you go, <laughs> awesome. Well, on that note, is what's that? Oh god, god. Is there anything else uh, we want to touch on about Raw? Anything else going to WrestleMania? Anything else uh, before we get mask. out of here? What's that? Lamb mask with John Cena and. Uh... Oh, the they lamb mask was for Madness last night. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it's gonna be. I mean, you're having a good match, and it's just like black. 
<laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, and, yeah. I was concerned when we saw him in the in the you know at the sink, and we saw it in the in the. Oh, he was gonna get. Didn't right. you feel like you you had a flashback to the really bad Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan promo in WCW I, when he appeared in the two way no. mirror? No, no, Somebody I didn't. Needed that. No, Somebody the one that. I to, it, it the one I imagined good. was Heidenreich. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Like he was well, gonna take off the mask, and it was gonna be Heidenreich with another poem. Oh no. Oh, no. Only, I don't think the Hogan Michael. thing I don't think he ever looked away. I think Warrior just appeared in the mirror. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was a really bad two way mirror thing, but then like Eric Bischoff is like, I don't see anything, Hogan. And it's like, we all see it, you right idiot. <laughs> the only thing that reminded me of that was the Angelina Love Winter stuff that they did in TNA. Oh jeez! Like that was that was similar. The lamb thing last night was just awesome. All right, so, we gotta wrap this up, guys. Bring it around. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Let's head up to the corner, uh, ladies. <laughs> what did we learn from wrestling this week? Uh, well, we actually got a final number for the number of uh, Dean photos. Okay. That were taken at uh, WrestleMania or no, uh, Raw. Six hundred thirty-nine total pictures. Oh, jeez. I am not saying how many were of... 400 plus. 500 plus. <laughs> yeah, it was 500 plus. Oh, wow. 500 plus of the shield. Wow. Yeah, if anyone needs any photos of the shield, we, we could sell them to you. You got it. You got it. Damn. You should get a table at, at the Steel City how much? and just sell those. How <laughs> much? How much? 200 bucks for you. Oh, wow. Ooh, and a oh, that, that is a good price, though. Wheels, what'd you learn from wrestling? I'll go oh my! 100. What did I learn from wrestling? I'm going to take you guys back to this past Saturday. Okay. What did I learn? When a woman <laughs> takes off her robe, a confetti cannon shoots off like a man getting too excited, and oh. I lost my shit. Wheels. I, <laughs> I, laughed oh, I, so hard. Wheels. I was crying. Don't refer to life. yourself. Ask <laughs> Missy. I was dying for half an hour. <laughs> confetti. <laughs> For those that don't I know, was there was apparently a bikini contest with Jesse Bell Smothers and a friend of the show, Sarah Feeney, involved. And just do a Google search for Jesse Bell Smothers and you'll you'll figure out how that all came together. Why the confetti can went off, so bing! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I hope that could have been noise that happened. Wow. What about, those, what about those kids that were behind us? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Riz, what did you learn? <laughs> no, I'm, I I can't believe uh, Wheels said that because um, <laughs> it was so awkward because during the main event of our match, somebody really shit their pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's this what is I true. This, this is over at the IWC show. Yeah. Somebody in a... Uh, I learned that somebody can wrestle a really good match and make somebody not go to the bathroom. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> want to miss it. Unless it's gripping. in their pants. It was, it was like gripping. And then, and then oh. it was something else. Then it was just so it was overtaken. That match was literally the drizzling shits. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. LB, yeah. what'd you learn? <laughs> Oh please! What did you learn? Uh, I learned that uh, Joe Man. I learned that Joe Manganiello smoked like strawberry cheesecake. Oh, okay. Mango okay. antelopes. Mango antelopes. Uh, Mango Mad antelopes. Mike. Mechanical pencil. <laughs> Mechanical pencils. Mad Mike, what'd you learn? I learned that Seth Rollins yeah, is going to be the new hype man for the face shield, and I'm totally yeah, cool good. with that. Awesome. Awesome. What about you, uh, Bobby? I learned that uh, the Undertaker needs to install a car alarm on his casket uh, because when Brock Lesnar kicked it, I wanted it to go pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> you are too close to the vehicle. Oh, wow. Uh, Missy, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that I can create wrestlers in cake. <laughs> <laughs> bro, cake, bro. Cake, totally need bro, to be a place. You need a whole big account. You need this Je needs to be something. Jen Marlins wants a Dean Ambrose cake for WrestleMania. There you go. Um, yeah. She would just lick the entire thing herself, and that would just oh, be bad. No. Oh. <laughs> you might need to make a couple extra, you know, for us to enjoy. <laughs> 
Wow. wow. It doesn't even have to be all of Dean. I think she'd be good with just parts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you get for your can- your confetti cannon here, buddy. Oh, I'd like to see that. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get out of here. I learned up. Um, you know what? <laughs> we are very gender equal on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Godspeed, ladies. <laughs> Wait, is he believe that? that? Is he Wait, is he 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 a a tit on Raw? They can talk about Dean Ambrose's dick all they want. <laughs> they're, they're allowed. <laughs> they're allowed. Talking about it. Maybe I like his eyes. Did you ever think of that? No, you didn't zoom in on his eyes when you were taking pictures. You didn't either. <laughs> something dude, from the show dude, um, I, I learned I just lame I learned that they put the pro, the the backstage pass show in the corner uh last night uh it's not no longer out there live, so. they, they took it off um they disassembled it for the post show it was backstage yeah, yeah. oh okay it was on the pre-show though outside yeah it was on the pre-show it wasn't on like as soon as the pre-show was done they took it apart Oh, interesting interesting something new well probably because they don't want to like wait or reveal the the you know the dark matches so well yeah they didn't want to show that hey we're the brooklyn crowds came to watch the shield versus the wyatts even though neither of those guys are involved with that feud anymore exactly exactly so i i don't know so it was always kind of cool to see that at least like the superstars <coughs> taping and stuff kind of happening you know mm-hmm. um awesome so with that guys hey thanks for joining us thank you all of you guys for being on here thank you for the cake missy <laughs> Seamus yeah. cake Amazing, amazing. Uh, with that, you can, you can join us wherever at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, all kinds of places like that in video and audio forms, whatever works for you, you know? Um, you can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where there's uh, the Indie Mayhem Show. There's the after shows and the wrap-ups for Raw and the Thursday night shows and all kinds of fun stuff there. Um, and you can join us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. You can join us uh, with the email address. Good time! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0 with your voice mouth. Um, and you can join us live every Tuesday at live.sorgatronmedia.com around 9 p.m. Eastern Time. There's links, of course, on uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, sorgatronmedia.com. So you don't have to remember any of that. You just click on that and hop right in the chat room with us, and uh, which has been hopping all night long. Uh, hey. So with that, and of course, uh, big thanks to Mike Allen, Mike Allen PR. Uh, on the Twitters for helping out with show notes all night long. He joins us every week, help out with that and tweets, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. So give him a shout out. We did this earlier on Awesome Cast. Every right now, uh, type out, uh, say at Mike Allen PR. Thank you for the mayhem help, and give him a shout out. Uh, with that, guys, for everybody across the PA and New York City and and everywhere around the world, Mayhem Show out. Wait, just wait. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to get the Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. I didn't even touch on it.